brought to you by... If you've ever taken a Polaroid photograph, you know that it comes with an inherent form of suspense. You snap the photo, the camera spits out the exposure, and you have to wait for the chemical reaction to reveal the image that you have captured in time, hoping and praying for it to be a keeper, and not just another waste of film. Hello friends, welcome back to ETF, where today we are finding a few deformities in a series of photographs taken by a mysterious Polaroid. Coming from the producers of The Ring and The Grudge, and based on the award-winning short by Lars Klevberg, we are introduced to high school loner Bird Fitcher who has no idea what dark secrets are tied to the mysterious Polaroid vintage camera she stumbles upon. But it doesn't take long to discover that those who have their picture taken meet a tragic end. This one lays things on pretty thick from the start, opening with a very insidious inspired sequence before introducing us to our main character, Bird. Don't ask me why she's named that. Who just so happens to be a photography nerd? What a coincidence! We're also quickly introduced to what will be a very short-lived love triangle element, as Bird pines for a boy she seemingly can't obtain, while another pines for her affections. However, this is scrubbed very quickly, as the guy who wants her is thrown onto the chopping block only moments later. Don't even know why they bothered. This is a film that sets up its scare moments in a very obvious fashion. For example, the moment Avery moves a prop skeleton over by the window in one particular scene, we know full well that when she comes back into the room, there's gonna be one more spooky silhouette standing among them. And sure enough. I do like the design of the entity and their choice to present it through shadow and within various forms of photo and film stock. It reminded me a lot of the way Lights Out used a similar concept with the monster, only being being able to be revealed in the dark. Unfortunately, the film's concept of connecting the physical existence of the creature to the photographs forced the film into heavy CGI supernatural territory. I feel like we should have had some sort of practical effect for such a well-designed creature. It also uses some unnecessary fake snow elements in one scene that didn't really make sense to me. I guess they were trying to go for adding a little more depth or something, but it just stood out. I personally felt that the rules for the photographs get a bit out of hand when elements are introduced like the fact that your reflection counts as being in the photograph. I'm not entirely sure why, but light hurts the entity. The introduction to light to film is what exposes the image, so you would think that light wouldn't be so much of a problem. Maybe it's an overexposure thing, I don't know. I also felt like the idea of the photos being connected to each of the victims in a physical way was a bit over the top. It gives us all these instances where when things happen to the photos, the same thing happens to the people in them, and just leaves us with some really silly looking CGI enhancement moments that are just unusual. There were many other elements that just didn't quite work, things like they are doing research and we see photographs of previous victims openly on the front page of a local paper. I kind of feel like victims' families wouldn't have wanted that reminder, but that's just me. There's a scene in a restaurant that was for some reason lit like they were in a dark basement somewhere, which is ridiculous. The sheriff of the film winds up having the best death of the whole movie, though the nature of it suggests an exuberant amount of blood, and because of it being a PG-13 horror, we get absolutely none. Overall, this is a fairly basic, modern, supernatural horror story that relies way too much on CGI for my personal taste. Though, at least it does keep to its own rules, even if it feels like it's making them up as it goes along. I'm giving Polaroid a C-. I don't know guys, this one isn't exactly terrible. I don't think 
most casual moviegoers who don't really notice CGI will mind. Some may enjoy it for what it is. However, more seasoned film fans will probably just want to overlook this one. It's available on Netflix for those who plan to seek it out. Before we wrap up, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about today's sponsor, Fiverr. Do you need some help with a creative project, but you just don't know how to find the right person to fit your specific needs? Well, look no further than Fiverr. Fiverr is the world's largest marketplace for online services, allowing entrepreneurs and business owners to make their business better, stay on budget, and get things done in just a click. Fiverr is a unique marketplace with one of the highest conversion rates in the industry. Fiverr is the home for digital, creative, and professional services, providing a one-stop shop for millions of digital services. Currently, Fiverr lists more than 3 million services on its site. Among these services are IT helpers, sound editors, graphic services, video professionals, writers and translators, business consultants, web developers, and many more. This wide range of services includes over 150 categories, giving you the power to work with a wide range of audiences. And let's not forget the Fiverr Pro option. Fiverr Pro gives buyers instant access to hand-vetted professional freelancers and also includes VIP customer support, one-click convenience, affordable prices, and secure communications and transactions. It's time that you find find the right people to get that dream project off the ground with Fiverr. But that's all for today, friends. If you are enjoying the content so far and want to help us keep bringing new types of videos for you to enjoy, please consider supporting ETF on Patreon, where every pledge goes right back into the channel to help us with upgrading equipment, maintaining our software, and checking out new flicks to discuss here. If you want to see more videos like these, feel free to let us know down below or give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.